Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we've got a very interesting video, something that could be a complete game changer for Madden and be something that all of us have been asking for. We just kind of got wind of some new technology that could be changing the face of some of these sports games forever. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video, but if you are new to the channel and you don't wanna miss out on any of the future uploads, we've got more Madden 22 gameplay on the way, more Madden 22 news. Make sure to subscribe, turn the bell icon on so you don't miss any of those videos when they go live. Now, you know, more than half of you guys that actually watch the videos aren't subscribed, and a lot of you don't know that, so you could be missing out on some of these potential videos. So make sure to do that. If you wanna unsubscribe at any time later on, you can always do so. So let's talk about this new technology and what could be happening very soon for Madden and can really change the gameplay and kind of give us something more closer to what we've been asking for for years and years and years. Now, in order to kind of look at this technology and look at the first bit of it, we have to actually look at FIFA. Now, I don't care if you don't play FIFA. That's not what the video is about. We just have to look at it because we have the technology on display in FIFA and we got some new info about it. And this is almost certainly going to be coming to Madden. I'm going to break it down in this video and you're going to understand why. So if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know how much I talk about the relationship between FIFA and Madden. Both are EA games. They're their you know, biggest sports games. And you know how consistently this trend is when FIFA gets something Madden almost always gets it the next year especially if it's a big feature not the little things but anything that's even halfway notable or game changing if FIFA gets it Madden will get it the very next year FIFA got ultimate team first Madden got it real player motion movement technology which is what we're going to talk about today FIFA got it first then Madden got it weekend league FIFA first Madden got it uh the yard FIFA got their street mode first next year Madden got the yard it, it this has been happening for years and years and years now fifa just kind of unveiled or ea unveiled for fifa this new hyper motion technology and as soon as i saw this when they revealed the cover and it actually set it on the cover which is how you know it's a big thing if they're putting it on the front cover they don't do this unless it's a big deal and whenever they have something that's a big deal they put it in their other games especially madden now, I was like, what is this hyper motion technology? I need to know what this is because if they're putting this on the cover and it's something to do with motion capture, it's 100% going to be coming to Madden. Well, they released their trailer where they uh, kind of unveiled this technology a little bit. So we're going to play the trailer really quickly, but then I'm going to break down all of the actual information about the technology that they put on their website. So let's check out the trailer for a second, come back here, and I'm going to break down what this means and how it's going to make Madden better in the near future. As you can see there in the trailer, the motion technology looked incredible. Looked very lifelike and realistic, but it is a trailer, so you know, it is easy to make trailers look good. Um, even though EA has had some trailers that have looked bad a lot of times as well, so maybe not. Now, I want to break this information down as it's written on their website because what it sounds like sounds amazing but we all know ea can make anything sound amazing it all matters how it plays when you have the game so while fifa isn't out yet we don't know how this is going to play in real time but just from what it sounds like this sounds like something for madden that would be completely game changing and it would help do away with a lot of the overpowered can two man just weird looking animation so let me break this down for you we're going to go over to their website 
It says here, groundbreaking new hyper motion gameplay technology elevates every match across every mode in FIFA 22, only on the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Google Stadia. Continuing on here, it says advanced 11 on 11 match capture. 11 on 11 capture. Think about that as we keep reading here. Xen suits, I hope I'm saying that right. Xen suits enable motion capture from 22 professional footballers playing at high intensity for the first time. The resulting unprecedented volume of high quality real human movement data powers how both individuals and teams move across FIFA 22. Now there's more to read about. We're gonna read about that in a second, but let's talk about just this for a second. 11 on 11 motion capture. So basically they're capturing real game being played 11 on 11 high intensity football now again if this is in fifa do you not think they're going to do this in madden actually have 11 on 11 football being captured because as it stands now they do motion capture of course that's where they get their animations that everybody either loves or hates but it's a lot different when you're trying to blend all of these individual or some group animations right we have two man animations that we see on catches and tackles we have some gang tackling where you might have three or four man um interactions right but you're taking these singular and two man animations and you're trying to drop them in all over the field and you want everything to interact with each other which is why with madden a lot of times you see players dumbing out a lot of times because they can't match on to the animation that's taking place and with football and soccer both just having so many moving parts on the field you got 22 people moving simultaneously that makes it super hard to replicate but for the first time they're actually capturing 11 on 11 they're not capturing individual or one-on-one -on -one. they're capturing 11 on 11 to create a more realistic experience let's keep reading Machine learning, a cutting edge proprietary machine learning algorithm learns from over 8.7 million frames of advanced match capture, then writes new animations in real time to create organic football realism across a variety of interactions. So not only are they capturing this 11 on 11 high intensity game, right? We don't know how much of it they're capturing. Is this something that takes place days at a time? Is it months worth of capture? You know, we don't know, but it's 11 on 11. They're capturing everything more moving as one 22 moving parts and they're just capturing hours and hours of this right but now with all of the data that is collected during these capture sessions now the machine learning algorithm can write new animations on the fly again think of how game changing that is when we talk about madden and we say the same animations play out over and over sometimes the animations don't even make sense there's a lot of warping and stuff we want new animations and we only get a few new ones it seems like each year and we see the same ones repeated over and over over. and we say you know we want to see more tackles we shouldn't see two tackles that are the same happen so often we shouldn't see the same sideline catch happen over and over and over if this machine learning can rewrite new animations as the game goes you have something that's completely groundbreaking here because now this thing just grows and evolves as the year goes on you're going to see new things every time you play the game that you didn't see the first time or the second time you played it. I don't know, again, how is this gonna work? We have to actually see, but just how it sounds is definitely something that's completely next level for both FIFA and eventually Madden. Full team authentic motion. Xen suits record every touch, tackle, sprint, and duel from all 22 players playing at high intensity for the first time ever. Capturing data that powers over 4,000 new animations in FIFA 22 to raise the footballing intensity, responsiveness, and physicality of every player in the game. So again, for the first time ever, they're capturing 11 on 11. So all those moving parts are now interacting with each other. You don't have people that's just gonna be off to the side trying to pile onto an animation that they can't get into. You don't have have any reason to have some of these suctions and warpings and crazy animations because you're trying to match all these different things at one time if you have 11 on 11 capture that's how it should play out on the field 11 on 11 capture and again if it's rewriting these animations and doing new things on the fly again is there a lot of room for this to possibly go wrong sure but if it's the first time they've ever been able to capture all these moving parts at one time, to me, this sounds like it would deliver ideally the most realistic experience we've ever gotten. ML Flow, learning from more than 8.7 million frames of advanced 11 on 11 match capture, the ML Flow machine learning algorithm writes new animations in real time, enabling players to better adjust their stride and running cadence on approach to the ball to control or strike it more smoothly. Player humanization. 
Powered by advanced 11 vs 11 match capture, new off-ball player animations and ambient behavior help bring on-pitch characters to life. See opponents talk, point, and direct each other based on the action, while updated locomotion matches players' urgency on the pitch to make FIFA more realistic and immersive than ever. So as we round out the article here, just kind of going deeper on it, again, basically what it sounds like is just a more realistic game, more realistic movements, more player humanization, more things happening between the play, new animations being written, cleaner animations, more seamless animations. Again, there's still animations at heart, which is what every sports game has always been. I know Backbreaker was more physics based in terms of tackling, of course, which was kind of a crazy thing that they did, but the far majority of the game was still motion capture. You can't really have a sports game without it. And I know we want to kind of have a more physics based game. I don't know that this technology necessarily leads to that, but I do know having 11 on 11 match capture has got to be way better than just having these singular and two-man animations dropped all over the field and having things you know try to mesh together I'm sure there's still going to be plenty of room for error and plenty of room for bugs and crazy things to happen but this definitely sounds like they're taking it up another level and judging off the trailer for FIFA a lot of the stuff in that trailer looked pretty crazy and lifelike but again it is just a trailer so we have to take that with a grain of salt so I'm gonna be really curious and watching FIFA this year and see how this actually plays out when the game is released is it going to be a win or is it going to be a flop because I can guarantee you this is a million percent going to be coming to Madden next year if they invested an 11 on 11 match capture for FIFA they're going to put that in Madden it doesn't make sense why would you have it in one place and not the other when both sports are very similar in terms of the fact that you have so many moving parts that need to be captured. I just think this could potentially be game breaking in a good way, hopefully not a bad way, but let me know what you think below. This has really piqued my interest and I think that, you know, if we can get gameplay realism to a better place in Madden, then Madden has a lot of room to go up and become a really good game because one of the main things holding it back is the quality of the gameplay and the way the animations currently play out. So let me know what you think below. Check out some of the other videos here on screen and I will see you guys next time.